Hi, this tutorial is part of a series of tutorials designed to help beginners get started with Audio Mulch. If you're completely new to Audio Mulch, you might want to refer to the previous tutorials in this series. In this tutorial, I'll be attaching a MIDI keyboard to my computer in order to demonstrate how to use MIDI for parameter control. There are three main ways MIDI is used in Audio Mulch. First, you can use controller messages from your MIDI device to control the parameters of Audio Mulch's built-in contraptions. Secondly, you can use MIDI to play VST instruments in Audio Mulch from your MIDI keyboard or other MIDI device. And the third way you might want to use MIDI with Audio Mulch is to synchronize Audio Mulch to a MIDI sequencer or a drum machine. I'll be covering the first scenario in this tutorial, that is, using MIDI for parameter control. I'll demonstrate how to control the parameters of Audio Mulch's built-in contraptions with MIDI controller messages from my MIDI keyboard. I'm starting with the patch I built in the previous tutorial. It's the patch where I used Resay filters to filter some noise generated by the test gen contraption. I built the patch to demonstrate the Metasurface control interface, but I won't be needing the Metasurface for the moment, so I'll close it. Before I began my audio mulch session, I attached a MIDI keyboard to my computer via a MIDI interface and switched it on. Attaching my keyboard before audio mulch starts up allows audio mulch to automatically detect it. Now I'm going to enable MIDI input by clicking the Enable MIDI button on the toolbar. The parameter I've chosen to control in this patch is the rate parameter on the Resay filters contraption. The rate parameter controls the speed and direction of the filter sweep. I'm going to map this parameter to the modulation wheel on my keyboard. The easy way to do this is to right click on the rate slider and select Quick Map MIDI Control. The pop-up window lets you set up a MIDI control source for this parameter. In this case the control source is my modulation wheel. I can either enter my control source settings here or I can get Audio Mulch to automatically detect my settings using this button here. While this button is down, Audio Mulch is waiting for me to send a MIDI message from my MIDI device. So now I'm rotating the modulation wheel on my MIDI keyboard to tell Audio Mulch to map the rate parameter to my wheel. Once Audio Mulch has received a message, it automatically closes the quick mapping window. When I open up the window again, you can see that all the MIDI control source settings for this parameter are now filled out. For example, the MIDI channel number is set to 1, and the controller type is set to 7-bit control change. That's coming from my modulation wheel. So now when I rotate the wheel up and down, you can see and hear the rate parameter changing. Notice that when I rotate the wheel up as far as it will go, the rate goes up to 5 Hz. And when it's fully back down, the rate goes down to negative 5 Hz. This is because Audio Mulch has automatically mapped the minimum and maximum wheel positions to the minimum and maximum values of the rate parameter. I'm going to change this value range so that I'm modulating the parameter between, say, 0 Hz and 3 Hz. To make this change, I'm going to have to adjust the mapping manually. To set up the MIDI mapping manually instead of automatically, I first open the parameter control window by again right clicking on my parameter. This time I select parameter control. From here, I can use the mapping tab to set the minimum and maximum parameter values that will be mapped to the minimum and maximum values of my MIDI controller. I can even change the shape of the mapping curve. Check the help file if you're unsure about mapping curves. 
So now I'm going to set my maximum as 3 hertz and my minimum as 0 hertz. I'm going to leave the mapping curve as the default mapping. Now when I move my modulation wheel up and down as far as it will go, the rate parameter modulates between 0 hertz and 3 hertz like I want it to. So that was a basic introduction to parameter control in Audio Mulch using MIDI. Be sure to check the Audio Mulch website for other video tutorials.